I wanted to get to this comment before I missed it because it was a topic we were going to get to. Liberty or death? Um, again, not familiar with you, but you're bringing the heat tonight, so appreciate it. Uh, he said, is anybody buying ZKZX, the tornado cash token? I really want to, but I'm hesitant because the U.S. government literally blacklisted any wallet that interacted with tornado cash and wonder if it could happen. So you are correct. The U.S. government did do that. They, As far as we know, the guy that created tornado cash is still in prison to this day. Um, and if for anybody that's not familiar, or doesn't know what tornado cash is, it was basically a mixer where you can send tokens into it. They mix it up. So you don't know what wallet it came from or where it's going or what, who's tied to it or anything like that anymore. Uh, ZKZX is a version of this that's, that's on pulse chain. I don't know where it came from. I don't know who created it. I don't know anything about it. As far as the token, um, I, I knew, I didn't even know there was a token. I just last week heard about there being this on Pulse Chain. Um, but I, I hadn't even realized there was a token until I saw mm -hmm. somebody tweeting about it the other day. Um, <laughs> but we were going to talk about this anyway. So thank you for the question. And yeah, some people are excited about it. Um, and you know, if the, if the U S hadn't unilaterally decided to just completely and utterly murder tornado cash, I mean, yeah, it'd be like, Oh, cool. This is a good product. I'm glad it's here. Uh, but the SEC and DOJ sent Tornado Cash Creator again to prison. Uh, some people are kind of split on whether to use this or not, exactly like what you just said, liberty or death. So, um, Ewok, I know you are kind of more familiar with like the the some of the longer term stuff with Tornado Cash and some of the inner workings as far as what ended up happening there. But yeah, what do you make of this? I mean, I I do think it's something to exercise caution on for sure. I. I I didn't and will likely not buy any of this or have anything to do with it. But uh, what do you make of it, Ewok? So the the token itself, I don't see any harm in in, in using or buying. Um, you know, the platform itself, I would be I would be careful, um, especially while you know there is an open investigation going on still with the SEC um it, it's worrisome i i was hoping it wouldn't i heard about it coming out and i was like "Ooh, this isn't the best of timing i don't think but um if you're only using pulse chain and only using coast um maybe reach out to the coast guys and say hey uh any risk in using you know the zk zx you know, it, is there a chance of anything being blacklisted at that time? Because if you do and you blacklist your wallet, you know, it essentially is the same wallet address on Pulse Chain as Ethereum. So not only are you, you know what I mean? You're hurting the uh, the whole thing on both sides. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm skeptical of these things. While we need privacy, uh, for certain reasons, you know, Richard goes on to list the many reasons of why a, a privacy, a mixer is uh, needed. Um, and then you have Elizabeth Warren who goes on and says uh, all these things are being done illegally with it and, you know, blows it way out of proportion uh, rather than for, you know, using it for privacy for features that, that it should be used for. Um if you have a company, you know, you don't want to, and you're paying in crypto, you don't want everybody else to know what everybody else is making. You know, you, you want your vendors to not know what you're paying for other stuff. So there's a lot of things and reasons why it's necessary. Um, I, I do worry, though, that the government will overstep yet again um, and start blacklisting. You know, we don't even have stable coins yet. I mean, there's a lot of things that we want to get, we want to build. Um, and I don't want this to interfere with any of that progress. I just really hope that it doesn't. So, uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be cautiously optimistic about it, uh, but I'll probably watch from the sidelines. I'm not going to par participate quite yet. That's my take on it, too. I mean, I, I'm certainly not worried about anything to do with the SEC or anything like that. Just the fact that, uh, you know, a tornado cash type mechanism exists on Pulse Chain. I mean, I don't I'm not worried about anything to do with that. I mean, it's something that's on the blockchain. It's not something that, you know, it's not a Richard Hart product. You know what I mean? I, I'm not worried about that at all. Right. But, right. Um, 
yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm probably not going to touch it or anything like that. Again, it would be interesting if they didn't already completely, you know, ruin the chances of being able to use something like that in the United States. But, um, you know, it, it is what it is. So it, it's interesting that the price went up. I know people are tweeting about that. But, uh, yeah, that, that's well, that, about it. That's for sure. It has had a nice run up. If you look at that chart, it's it's mm-hmm. looking looking pretty sexy. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. Maybe pretty, take some profits because it's looking over overbought right now pretty uh sexy one might yeah. say i don't know 